In this video, I'm going to explain the different sections of the R interface. So specifically, usually when you're working with R Studio, there are four main panes in this window. Here right now, you can only see three. This one over here, this one, and this one. There's a fourth one, uh, which I'm going to open up in a sec, called the Source Editor. So that's that sort of think of it like your Microsoft Word document that keeps track of all of your uh, commands that you're using, and that's called an R script. So if you do file, new file, R script, if it doesn't appear for you at the beginning, well, now it appears, right? So see, so now we can see the four different panes over here. Uh, this top left one, the first one is called an R script. Like I said, it's the source editor. Uh, and in some cases, this could also be an R markdown file, but we'll get into that towards the end for now. This is our script, and that's basically a file that keeps track of all of your commands. That's really all it's doing. Also some comments if you wanted to keep track of those. So that's the first uh, window. The second window here, again, part of the window, is uh, the console. The console is basically where you could, if you wanted to directly enter commands. So here, for instance, if you just type in a command, let's say five plus four, that's a command. Notice I type in five plus four and I press enter and I see that it's nine, right? So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to type in your script, right? So here, if I type in five plus four, I can keep track of what commands I'm doing and then I could highlight this, run it, and then it's, notice it ran it there for me, right? But this way, if I wanna do more advanced commands, I can keep track of them here. So that's what these first two panes are. This third pane over here is the environment pane, um, which also keeps track of history, right? So the history of the commands that you've put in, and the environment. So this is cool because um, notice, one thing you can do in R is you could upload Data sets. You can also define variables. So one way, let's say we let's say we want x as a variable to equal three. In my uh, R script over here, I could just say x, and I can assign it a value of three. So if I run that script over here, it's going to assign x equals three. So now if I ask what's x, or even what's x plus one, let's see. X should give me three, right? Look over here on the bottom, it gives me three X plus one. That should give me four, right? Three plus one, four. But notice this, this pane over here is keeping track. It's keeping track that X is, has a value of three. That's a variable and it has this value. Similarly, you could define Y, Z, any variable you want. Uh, and again, when you upload data sets, it'll also have some information about that. So that's what this pane on the right is doing. It's keeping track uh, of the environment, and it's also keeping track of the history of all the commands that you put on the console. And finally, on the uh, bottom right here, we have the uh, uh, the files, plots, help uh, pane over here. So one thing that's interesting about this is if you wanted to import a data set, which is something we'll talk about how to do later, but if you wanted to import a data set or if you wanted to save uh, save a result or something, you sort of have to ha know which file it belongs to within your computer system, right? Within your uh, documents. So this is sort of like it's showing you your documents, right? So within your documents, you can pick where, uh, where you want to open stuff, where you want to save stuff. And more importantly, there's a default folder that R is always going to go to, to either open things or save things to. And that default folder is called your working directory. And what you can do here is you can set your working directory, set which folder you want R to look at really easily. Over here where it says more, you can set as working directory. So you can go, let's say there's this documents uh, folder and uh, let's say you might have to give it access the first time. So here, if you wanna set this as your working directory, you can do more, set as working directory and now, Anything that I do will save in my documents folder like that, right? But again, you could you could really pick pick any other folder you want to set as your working directory. Uh, finally, 
Another thing we have here is uh, help. So essentially, let's say uh, one thing about R is uh, it's really cool because whenever you're confused about something, you can always just type help and then the name of that command and it'll give you more information. So for example, let's say if you wanna take the average of certain commands uh, of certain values, that's called the mean, right? R has a command, um, but let's say you, you aren't sure how to use it. So if you do help mean, it's now over here on this right pane, it's showing you, oh, what a mean is and what the command mean uh, would do and what, how, how you can properly use that command, right? And again, this is just a very basic thing for more when you're working with problems or, or you know, and, and you're stuck and you know that there's, you, you search for help online and you see that, oh, people are saying that I need to use this, uh, this command and you're really un unfamiliar with it. You can type help, the name of that command or the name of that package as we'll talk about and it'll give you some information right there. So this overall is the interface and what each section of the interface means. And in the next video, we'll talk specifically about our scripts a little bit more and libraries.